Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Basic First Mate Rakir, at your service. And welcome to a new side quest game that we'll be picking up. Ori and the Blind Forest, the, defini the, 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 the definitive edition. And hello there, Marco. And uh, I'd love to add stream <laughs> quality settings, but that's actually only... Uh, some. You have to be an affiliate to have access to that, I think. And yeah, that's why I stream mostly at the 720p uh, level, because 1080p tends to well stutter a lot for a lot of people. So yes, I I'd love to again, but it's just simply not in my realm of possibility at the moment. Uh, affiliate is someone who has basically got a minor contract with Twitch that allows them to run ads and such. Um, Give them a bit of revenue from that. Uh, and in turn, the affiliate... Uh, you know, most of the revenue still goes to Twitch, of course. But the affiliate also gets access to like that point system that you see in a, with a lot of streamers. Where you can redeem stuff for like throwing something at their avatar or having a sound effect play. That sort of stuff. But for that, you need to have at least five people active in chats for a good few streams. And uh, yeah, boot switch. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this game, this game is something special. I don't remember exactly how I first ran into it, but this is definitely one of those cases that if anyone argues that games aren't art or can't be art, show them this game and it'll, it'll shut them the fuck up. Or it yeah. should at the very least. Th this, this game is uh, very much an art. Yeah. And a story. Um, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this is the first Ori game. There's only two so far. And now this is this is a re-release of the well original, of course, with some upgrades. Of which I don't know if they what they may have added in or not. But we'll see or well I'll I'll see with everyone else here. So let's start the game. Uh, oh well, apparently I played through the entire damn game again on this, <laughs> this version as well, as well as the original version. Okay, I completely forgot that. Uh, let me... Let's see. I'm, I'm using a controller. Uh, why is it not... Uh, yes, this is the first here. game. Copy and paste that over there. Always nice when you can copy save files. And... That's one life. Uh, no! Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Uh, let's go with normal. And this is our character for now. Swallow's Nest. And yeah, I, I'm not I'm not even going to try and slander the work of this game by trying to voice act the bits that are already voice acted. And yeah, you can just see it in the art already, just the high quality of it. Art and storytelling, as I would say.
And this is the titular Ori. <laughs> and yes, he's bloody adorable. I, I never get used to when you say titular because of people have been using that word way too much for furry puns. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Okay, uh, apparently Twitch has been having some issues lately, so I hope that isn't just with my stream. Uh, you back here, Marco? They've been having, <laughs> they, they've been having mass layoffs and the original CEO quit. Yeah. Well, better hope that a replacement is going to show up soon enough then. And yeah, just out looking for food with the two of these. There we go. There's one thing with Ori's model that I still don't know to this day, and that is whether he, if he is completely 2D animated or 3D or not. Ah, that explains. Okay. And things have taken a turn for the worst.
There you go. Now this game is beautiful, but also, again, it's a, a very, a very damn good balance between art and story. Mm. Mm. You're yeah. right. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is why I have well, one of the reasons. Well, I have a roll of toilet paper near my bed for a well, cleanup. Because, yeah, that, that still gets me every time. Oh, so you were crying. <laughs> I'll fully admit to that. Yeah, I, I was actually to, uh, plan to ask you, didn't you cry one, during one of these games? Um, <laughs> well... Yeah, again, I, I'm not going to joke at him with crying sense, but... Apparently, I only cry tears of laughter. When I'm sad, I just don't cry tears anymore for some reason. And yeah, one one way I've this <clears throat> one way I've heard it described is uh, if you can get through the first 15 minutes of this game, or AKA that entire section, or no, not even 15 minutes. If you can get through the entire first part of this game without uh, crying. Uh, I've heard it said you just don't have a soul. And yeah, it, it is just... This is art, plain and simple. And you actually have to control... Uh, you have to push Orion uh, through, uh, <clears throat> through the, the, that last bit. You have to actually uh, push the stick up and to the side to get him moving or to keep him moving. Yeah. I'm bloody <sighs> Again, I did. I, I have a hard time to cry, but I, I definitely do agree. Though it is damn sad. 
Yeah. So I, I almost yells that you can cry at times. Yeah, I rarely do it. That. Which could be seen as a bad or a good thing. <sighs> but yeah, yeah it, it's stuff like this that reminds me that I do still have a soul. That I'm not completely yeah. jaded to the world. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Same here. Like Again, I'm not crying, but I agree with you. It's extremely sad. And uh, let's see. Marco, question. Are you ever going to stream Persona 3 to 5? Uh, I'm thinking I, I want to stream Persona 5 at one point. Mostly as a... Yeah, when I get through it myself as well. Be I have seen... Uh, I've seen more playthroughs of 3 and 4. Uh, I... I think I've seen both Super Genius, as in G-E-E-N-I-U-S, and uh, Nakatali, Nakatalaki, or, uh, I think if you search Nakaka on uh, YouTube, you'll find them as well. I've seen both of them, or both of those channels, play through Persona 3 and 4, and uh, yeah, I, I'd say they both do a much better, they both do a much better job of uh, showcasing Persona 3 and 4 than I ever could. Uh, but I I am, I am do want to do Persona 5 at one point with a guide to help me get through it because Persona is a... Persona is a bit less of a game and more like an experience because you basically have to trial and error it with dozens and dozens of hours. And... A part of me doesn't really want to go through that, uh, in part because, it, yeah, it would be just such a giant time invest investment. And plus, yeah. if we were to do uh, that, we'd, we'd, we would definitely get into the triple digits with videos on that. But just trying over and over again. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we, we have talked about it over several times over the years uh, since I joined. Yep. Has been talked about it, and we come to the conclusion that it will be it will be way too many episodes, and uh, and without a guide, guide, a way too much trial and error. Yeah, so I would I definitely put it on eventually one day once we have finally gotten ourselves a guide for it, and once we both yeah want to put in the time investment with it. <laughs> Don't worry, I bit Persona 3 in only 58 hours, yeah. <laughs> and, okay. You have found a small light uh, container, small spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to your bar. Find more spirit light containers to quickly gain ability points. Yeah, this game, like Guacamelee, like Bloodstained, is a Metroidvania. But in this game, the emphasis lies a lot more on on platforming instead of combat like there is still combat but like 95 percent of the time we will be platforming and platforming alone basically yeah okay. we found a life shard collect these to restore your vitality which is the three leaves i will call them on the right and yeah in the middle is basically our experience bar and we found an energy cell you can now collect and use more energy Remember that you can use energy to create a soul link and save your game. Yeah, we can save anywhere we want as long as we have energy. And, no, well, like that. Which is extremely useful in a game where we'll be going around a lot. And some of the platforming challenges uh, are going to be quite something. And yeah, just because there isn't much combat doesn't mean... There aren't enemies. Yeah. Oh. Okay, from Mark. Don't worry, a bit Persona 3 in 58 hours. On my on my first play through 2. Alright, did you get a good ending or a bad ending there, Marco? And hello there.
you want to do, uh, shall we leave this unsaid as well? Or shall we voice act these bits from a we, sign we, here? It, here we can voice act, for, we, we don't really hear them too much here. Yeah. Uh, you want to do it or shall I? I will let you do it since I still have <laughs> pixelation sense. The best time for me to do voice acting is if they don't do it downstairs or watching TV and not through internet, or if I'm alone at home. Okay. Uh, I'll do. My strength, my strength is returning. I'm sign, the light and the eyes of the spirit tree. And uh, ta -ta -ta, what my dad was saying something. Can you repeat, Rakira? He asked if you got the true ending or one of the other endings. I was lost in this glen when she loosened her grip. I can guide you on your journey if you allow me to come. But be still. Can you hear that? They must have followed you here. Yep. And here is where the, the combat comes in. Ori isn't really a fighter himself, but Sign can basically zap things not get nearby. So basically Sign is an actual useful Navi. And let's see. Uh, we have the map here. And then we have the skills here. Uh, it's said to press something to spend our skill points. Let's see. Can we... Yeah. Tap B. We can access these at any of the save points that we make. And here's our ability tree. Let's see. We have one point at the moment, which we can add you know, to either the combat tree. Uh, let's see. Healing tree. And basically a miscellaneous tree. Uh, yeah, the, this is mostly for combat. This one, well, sense allows over to see through walls to find in the area. This is a lot of useful stuff, like shows energy cells on the map, shows life markers on the map, uh, increase the experience gain, show ability cells, easy efficiency, very useful stuff as you can see. And let's see, allows reusing soul links and shortens the cooldown timer. And let's see, allows. <clears throat> allows Ori to dash in the air. Oop, move to the front. Charge dash. Okay, that looks adorable. <laughs> oh dear. And also, I have to say, for I feel like we had the mm, talked about this in the past. For I, I think I, oh yeah, I think I actually was there on Ori two. Yeah, uh, yeah, I I did stream a bit of that. Oh, and then we did a. a, a we actually did a series, just probably we were so early on that I don't should we actually put it on YouTube. I'm not even I'm I'm pretty sure I I if not streamed, at least Discord shared when I first played Ori 2, but I don't think we actually fully streamed it. Because I think that was before oh, uh, That might be that might be it. And yeah. Energy swords restore power to Ori's energy cells. Oh, yeah, what was it? I realize now that he has hooves. Oh, she. Rinui is a he or she. Uh, I think Ori is male, but I, uh, I'm mostly guessing at the moment from my rem remembrance. But I think uh, male or female, Ori is cute. <laughs> Yeah. Fair and let's see. Um uh, Marco, there are only two endings in Persona 3, and I went with the true ending. Uh, I'm on my eighth playthrough now, and I'm trying to get all social links to the max. I spent the first seven, uh, 100 percenting the game. <laughs> okay. So you could, it's probably your favorite game, then, if you put so much time into it. Holy. Uh, let's see. Their lights shall return to me. These words the spirit tree once said. 
In the glade past the caverns, we'll find him. There's a path up ahead. And here's our map. And just like everything else, <laughs> even the map is bloody pretty. And yeah, now we have a goal. Heads to the spirit tree. Oh, damn it, brain. <laughs> okay, we can break these open for a little bit of experience. And some health. I just, I just imagine uh, already ah. playing football. <laughs> Uh, I think, I think the only way Ori could efficiently play football would be considered cheating with the normal rules. True, but... I... No shooting. Here we go. And yeah, we'll find these slime things every bloody where. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da. I just skipped everything I saw already, but haven't tried to play with the female main character yet. Okay. I am uh, I heard that with uh, the FES edition, or FEF version, I don't remember what that stands for. Uh, with the Persona 3 FES, that they did add a female main character, and that they actually added in different... Uh, in Okay, just zap. Uh, that they actually added in new uh, romances and such with that. Let's see. Another point. Uh, let's see. Creating a soul link restores one life cell. Halves the chart and flame chart. Let's see. Uh, let's go down this lane first. Because there's a lot of useful stuff in there. We can get the comet and exploration stuff later. For now, yeah. basic Metroidvania stuff, grabbing, pulling, and collecting. You found a keystone. Keystones are used to open spirit gates. Remember that each spirit gate will require a different number of keystones. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marco, and I haven't played the answer. It's on FES and they only played portable yet too. Okay. Uh, the answer, the answer. I th isn't that an Aegis uh, specific bit or something? Or am I remembering wrong? It's been probably over two, three years since I last saw any Persona 3 stuff. Up, ow. Up. Okay, I should, I should have moved the rock in place for that, but oh well. <laughs> And here is the spirit gate. The spirit gate blocks us. They were built for protection before the days of decay. The required keystones must be nearby. To reach the spirit tree, we must pass the spirit caverns that lie beyond this gate. Yeah, yeah we have two to these. compliment these people on. They are very good with the... What the heck would you call it? Wordsmithing? Uh, wordsmithing is more like a thing that's said in rap, I think. <laughs> I think it's actually used for poetry, so I think it's actually an older term than rap. Okay. For, I think actually it, was, it has been used as a compliment for people who are all very good with the... Books and poetry. Okay. If I remember right, it's been a while. But basically, means they are very good with forming words, like days of decay. So I'm just going to take a print screen here because Ori is just adorable when they are just looking up against the gate like this. <laughs> Cookie? It, 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 that, that's the only word I uh, imagine him say that. Cookie? <laughs> it looks hungry. <laughs> okay. And yeah. Starter enemies are pretty easy to get the patterns off, of course. But they will be more trickier beasts to deal with later. <clears throat> Pardon, if that was heard. <clears throat> yeah, only the uh, was heard, so probably not. It... 
and yeah, just <laughs> just look at all of the gorgeous work here. <clears throat> My turn to pardon. Let's see. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we need to go grab something before we can actually get to the spirit tree. Typical uh, Metroidvania of gear, uh, gear method, of course. Yeah. Oh, we forget that. We, we were meant to stream Uri earlier today and play Dredge at this evening, but uh, yeah, um, what what was supposed to be a one-hour nap turned into a two-hour nap. And well, then it was too late to start. So we're doing Ori now, and we'll do Dredge tomorrow evening. Yeah. No. Hmm. Question. Answer. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Damn it, but what did I freeze my brain? <sighs> While you think on that again, uh, let me read that before it fades. So uh, FES sure. has the answer, which is like uh, the DLC for the male main character, and in Portable they just removed all the 3D exploring except in the dungeon, and went with a visual novel style, but the only good thing in Portable is the addition of uh, FEMMC, FEMC, female main character. Alright. 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 Am I allowed to start a call in attempt to wake you up? Uh, you can. Uh, <laughs> not sure if it will help since my phone is typically set to do not disturb, but I can definitely try to keep it on. Yeah, do unless you keep it on on the PC. No. No, and, and you usually realize there's a problem. Uh, oh, I, I can't wait after this. The light of the spirit tree lives in all of us. He is the reason we're alive. He is the reason we grew. When he called out to find you, many years passed, we were attacked, wounded, and killed by our foe. And now these ancestral trees are all that's left behind. Come closer now and feel the light of Phil, the spirit inside. How many, how long has it been? I don't think it's ever said, but it could have been decades, maybe centuries. Probably not centuries. Yeah. But long, long ago. And yeah, this is how we gain new abilities. You've learned wall jump. Use this ability, uh, to use this ability, push the control stick toward the wall and press A continuously to leap upwards. Yep, instead of uh, the typical back and forth, like... We just, just bunny hop up the wall. <laughs> Dear. And yeah. Uh, right. I was to say is uh, another problem I realized we tried to start a call with you to try when you wake up is I will need to know yeah. if you are asleep before I will try to do that. Uh, well, if I'm uh, if I am awake, I'll just. Uh, I can just decline the call. Yeah. No. Mm. He, he almost feels rude to do that just to wake you up, or when you might be just be you in a busy talk or something. Yeah, so, you're free to yeah. do it anyways. What do you say? Yeah, you're free to try it. You know, you're you're free to do that to try and get my attention and yep, yep out. Yeah, no, I, I may only use it like if it's like uh, very close to the stream time. Yeah. Okay, another point. We're getting these pretty quickly as is. Uh, let's see. But it is going to be more costly as we go, like here. And it is going to put up requirements. Like requires double jump flame charge efficiency. It is... which was that? Flame charge efficiency. Okay, it's not in here, it seems. Or is it... Hmm. Oh, wait, it's the previous one, of course. Bleh. But it's, yeah, it's going to put up more ability. Uh, it's going to cost more points as we go. 
So for now, uh, flame charge and regroup. Okay, uh, char or okay, let's just take this instead because this is blocked to us at the moment. The more think about it, I, uh, I think all the inner cold ship is a hybrid of several nature uh, spirits. Yep. Like a mix of a the two I can name easily, fawn and nymph, or a dryad like nymph tree forest dryad uh, a dryad and forest nymph usually live inside a tree, just okay. like Ori. However, however, just like Ori, he, he looks more like a miniature satyr who lives in a forest. I, I'd say he... Inside a tree. In appearance, I'd say he's a bit of a mix between a, a cat, a monkey, and other things as well. Yeah, do, do remember, uh, he has horns and hooves, so there are some... some goat in him. But yeah, again, a lot of nature spirits and animals mixed into him for this unique feel. I don't really think it's hooves, it's more like the the legs of a rabbit or something. Oh, I don't I, think there's I, enough... I, 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 I saw in a close-up earlier feet, and I noticed that they were hooves. Okay, I, I, <laughs> I was trying to get a better look at Ori from uh, <laughs> on my other monitor since that's zoomed in a bit. Uh, I just just drop down on the slime and die. Yeah, for one of the earlier scenes, I look. I just noticed that uh, he sh several times a shape on his feet of what balls. Then we are, no, those are not, those are hooves. Hmm. But they were a bit too sharp uh, to be uh, paws. And it kind of wouldn't make sense for him to have goat hooves since goats are surprisingly good climbers. Yeah. Well, he does climb by just hopping like that as well. So maybe yeah. they are little hooves. Yeah, no, now you can see why I'm saying he's... The concept of him is a mix of uh, something like a fawn satyr as well with dryad forest names and I'll probably have some more for... Basically took a lot of things, put into Blender and caught this cute thing. Yeah. Okay, this but time let's put on a save. The only thing I'm glad they did not take from a fawn or satyr is um, uh, uh, I, I think you know what satyr and fawns can be very known for. Yeah. You found a mapstone fragment. Return this to a mapstone to unlock a new area map. Yep. Actually, you know what? Let's let's keep all away from satyrs. Yeah. Like, like, he, he, we, we will allow him to play, learn to play the flute and palm flute, so just keeping away from the wine and the other damn activities Satyrs gets up to. Yeah. <laughs> or he's too innocent. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Well, if you guys gonna play Persona 3, I'll be your guide if you want. Thanks for the offer. I don't... I'm not planning or expecting to play Persona 3 at any point, uh, maybe at maybe eventually, but definitely Persona 5 is on the menu eventually. <laughs> yeah, I, I have one of the games on PS4 and I tried and I, I gave up. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's, it's less of a game and more like an experience slash... Uh, time investment yeah I, I i just got too overwhelmed with the timer and all that and i realized I, if i were going on digimon i did use a guide but it was a non-spoiler guide and I, I ended up using less and less for i started to learn but for persona i've realized 
it's not gonna work with a guide for I feel like it will end up taking up too much time to go back and forth between the, the game and the guide back and forth, back and forth and end up just ruining the experience yeah, that, that's why it was rather niche uh, it, it came more to the uh, mainstream with Persona 4 I'd say, and Persona 5 definitely gave it a kick up but it is yeah. still not really a series for everyone yeah, <clears throat> here's the thing a friend told me everyone should play Persona, recommended that it was a must buy. So I bought it due to several people recommending me it. And yeah. I think they should have had the same mindset as you. And yeah, putting in the map stone or completing a map stone shows us the rest of the area. And here's another keystone. Oh, bloody hate this game. Then again, I think I said this before, like, I really like forests and nature. I, I, I live in a small city, but I still, I can see, still see forests and such around. Yeah. For, I think I said before, if you were to put me in a big city, like New York and such, I will go mad. Yeah, I live more on the outskirts, uh, not really near forest or such, but we have, uh, I have, hmm, we've always lived near parks at the very least. Yeah, but that, that, that I would probably be fine with the rest, with as many parks as us. Uh, this is probably very common in Sweden that many cities have a lot of parks and a lot of forests and such around them. Uh -huh. So you, you, you do, you do, you won't see too much Ah. Tall skyscrapers here. Quick retreat and put down a save point. I'm going to have to get used to it again that I'm responsible for my own save point, so I can't blame the game for <laughs> checkpointing. Yeah, like, like, I like the checkpoint system. However, it is definitely a double edged sword. Yeah, since you can screw yourself over. Yep. Luckily, yeah, we do we heal whenever we put one down. I, I think you actually did that a few times uh, when we did play the for me one of the order games. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, I think you put, you played it only for me and not uh, for stream for. Oh yeah, that did that. Bloody heck! That... Hello. I mean, it was around the time when it was new for Discord to do that. I think so. It was, it was when the game originally came out, not a time after. Like we, uh, let's see. These energy gates were sealed by the spirits of the past. If the you know, past, if we collect enough energy cells, they will open a path. So, yeah, giving you a good reason to go collect those energy cells, except for other than just having more save points. Oh, I'm top of our brain. I misheard you there. Okay, cough it up. <laughs> <laughs> Boff. I thought, uh, my brain breaks and you said open up off. Yeah. I dodge one damage and jump into the other. Okay. It, 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 at least it was not a bad mishearing this time. Yeah. And I think all is gonna need a buff. Or at least uh, tweezers to get all these thorns out. Yeah. It says something that even the enemy projectiles and such look pretty. Actually, I actually needed to use a tweezer today. Just I have to use my nails instead. Yeah. I don't know what my tweezers are. For somehow, a piece of my own hair got stuck in my fingertip. Yeah, I've had that happen. Like especially when I after I've shaved or such out. Yeah. But it was not from my beard. Uh, actually, it might have been a tip from my beard. Actually, when I think, think about it, if I've been new to have some cloven strands I cut off. So I guess it's sort of ended up getting stuck in my finger, like piercing it. So I don't get how that happens. Uh, let's see. Random Marco. I mean, Persona 5 got like a bunch of hype and kicked off the series. 
I mean, so I understand why people would tell you to play it. Now, yeah, I only own I, it for the PlayStation. I, I feel like it, it was so damn hyped, it became a problem. I really, I really am doubting if I really need to speak it out since, well, people we're, can't read, but uh, I'll still these, do it all the same. Yeah, these parts, when it comes up like this, we can speak out. But when it's in a cutscene, we will leave it alone since we may miss it and we can't pause it. Here we can read at our own pace. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. Ori, the spirit tree. He must have used the last of his strength to save you. Come now and hear our story. It was the night of the light ceremony. It was our light that she hated. You received the spirit tree's light. He put our fate in your hands. Listen carefully now, for you must understand. The spirit tree sustained the three elements of light, and in turn they brought balance at Kim Nebo safe. The element of waters, high atop the Ginso tree, The element of winds, deep within the forlorn ruins. The element of warmth, beneath the fires of Mount Huro. To restore Nibel uh, <coughs> to its former glory, or former self, we must rekindle their lights before it's too late. First, we will find beyond the spider coves, top the tree uh, where the waters once flowed. Yep, spider warning. Ornfeld um, swamp. <laughs> uh, Marco again. Uh, but since it got uh, released to modern platforms, now they recommend you to play more than before. Okay. And yeah, we can now also. Uh, Okay. Yeah, we can also pause. Impressive. <laughs> now we can also warp to places once we have unlocked more of these. For now, though, uh, let's save. Oh, so we can this. save it on these things here as well without using energy, I hope. Yep. And All right, good. Yeah, or we also does this little dance. Or more oh. a spin and <laughs> almost a bow. Oh, dear. 
And yeah, the spirit tree looks proper alien, but still tree enough like with those I would say light burrows. Less, I would say less alien, more of fairy tale, like a fairy, like a, you know how they depict the fairy forest and such. True. Uh, the over here, they're typically fairy forests are more shown to be with a ton of mushrooms everywhere because of gnomes and such. Uh, you should have both. It's, be careful, Ori. The ground is unstable. But, oh, are you, are you sick, Mark? Yep. You know what, Mark? I think you, to cure sickness, you need to get a Ori plushie. <laughs> yeah, that, that, it landed directly on top of the stupid thing there. And speaking of Ori plushie, uh, they do actually sell those. And yes, um, I have one. Yeah, I remember that. I just remembered when you said that. That, oh, right, he has one. He was so excited when he got it. Uh, a fun thing about it, it has little magnets in its paws, so you can actually have <laughs> Orbi climb stuff. So I oh. periodically move them away somewhere to hang from something else. Oh, dear. Let's see, for Marco, I caught a call today and went... Had to go to a friend's birthday, so it got work. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. If you feel sick, you should not go to a birthday party. Yeah, hopefully you no, you didn't infect anyone there, and yeah, hope you'll get hope you'll get well soon, Marco. And I hope that we'll be able to provide a, an adequate distraction to make you feel somewhat better. Yeah. Hopefully our ceiling as we give you plenty of entertainment. Or we may be able to share interesting facts or something else. Let's see, we can't damage that. We can't damage this. But yeah, this... This entire this is definitely how a decayed fairy forest would look like, if you ask me. Yeah, uh, let's see. From Marco, yep. Yep. he invited me, and my mother insisted I go. Oh. Uh, okay, so yeah, if anyone gets sick from that, she has the full blame. Also, apparently, we now have a friend with us. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's there's no in way in hell you can't convince me that the enemy most of a lot of the enemies in this game aren't 3d <laughs> just look at that if if that is 2d animation damn that is amazing 2d animation then i think it <laughs> is it's just called very damn good shell shading or something hmm i'll need i would need to look that uh, yeah, probably gonna need to look it up, but they should probably have done something about how they made the game. Yeah. Anyway, Anno, or the spirit that died here, was strong and courageous. Listen to his voice, yeah, he was able to focus our lights. And truce is over. Okay. Bloody heck. Uh, oh! I'm almost tempted when I get Age of Wonders 4 in store to maybe have a campaign where I name every character after one of these uh, characters here. Yeah, it, it 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 does add a tinge of sadness to it that every power we collect is from basically a corpse. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> You've learned Charge Flame. To use this ability, hold X to charge, then release to detonate and damage everything in proximity. Yeah. Oh, Marcus said something in the chat I can't read at the moment. And yeah, that's how we break this stuff. Uh, and don't worry, you guys give plenty entertainment. Thank you. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to overhype myself and just say stuff like I definitely will provide enough entertainment. But uh, it is nice to hear that you do enjoy the show. Yeah, we, we, we do our best. And yes, I did say we do our best. It's a teamwork here. True. Like, I, I wouldn't... These streams wouldn't be half as entertaining without Zerkir here as well. 
Large spirit light container. I I do Give like that moment. burst. I think, I, I think I just got emotional there. <laughs> I, I don't know, not I feel like I, I almost wanted to cry there. <laughs> okay. What? what the heck? Hmm? I think got teary eyed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can blame the game for that if you want. But again, as I said before, I, I seem to have easier time to cry of joy the cry of tears. Like, it has been years since I cried in tears. The last time I actually started to cry, I cried without tears. So I feel mm. like it's not a wonder if there's something happened. Mm. And yeah, wrapped up, we got another life cell and immediately lose the extra health we got from that. Uh, just one tear, so it's not... If you can only barely call that a tear, but still... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, well, I'm still, I'm also very glad... For... I use it to roleplay a lot, but since, uh, yeah, you know, it ebbs and flows of roleplay... So when Hillian in just yeah, here's the thing, I guess I should probably tell this story again. Hillian, I, I started to watch Hillian stream. Then he one day asked if I wanted to be his moderator, and I thought, no things, I don't want to get a Twitch account and do that. Especially when, as I told you before, I tried to watch through Twitch before, and it's very hit and miss. Let's see. But I, then I joked that I had, uh, that I'd be a co commentator would probably be easier. And well, yeah. you can see where that went like a, a year and a half later now. <laughs> Two years, actually. Uh, yeah, we, we, do, we did put the counts to where about you joined. Yeah, or rather, when we started to post the videos to YouTube, for, it may have been longer, but again, it took us a while before we started to post it. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Uh, okay, didn't miss anything. Uh, basically, you guys are trying your best to focus on the games and trying to entertain your audience, and I, and I support that. And if you need someone to cheer you up, I'm available. Thank you, Marco. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> the emotions uh. here. Spirit wells are ancient structures that were used to quickly traverse all of Nibel. The light of the spirit wells will also replenish your strength whenever you are weary. You could have gotten to this earlier. Did we just give a thumbs up? I think it did a little dance that before raising your thumbs up. Uh, cute little thing. But yeah. Uh, uh. Now we can warp around. But I'm like, I think kind of fun is quite comical. It's it all this started from me making a simple joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, then again, the way we met originally was also just an absolute chance encounter in Guild Wars 2. Yeah. So it, it's, it's small, insignificant things that can really grow out into big things, huh? Yeah. It, we, we talked a lot, roleplay now and then, all that, and. Just one day, yeah, it started into this. <laughs> yeah. Ori, this statue looks familiar. I've seen it before. Okay. Hollow Knight? I don't think so. I, I think this game actually predates Hollow Knight. <laughs> I know, I, I, it was a joke. <laughs> oh. I remember them. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much over science uh, gibberish much. I remember them, and many years ago, when the spirit tree was about to sprout. Hmm. 
Naru, the young uh, one, looked after us whenever she could. Is Ori is not the first uh, foster. And yeah, now we're in. Now we're out here in the dark. What? Let's see from Morco. Don't worry about your hive man. Oh, and the yeah, other Let's see. It always these small moments that are the most memorable and beautiful ruler to remember once in a while. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It, 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 yeah I'm... Okay, and I'm still most amused and sometimes worried over how mm. how to say this in sync we are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, been a bit since we did the save. Uh, yeah. That's going to be the first part where things are going to be get a bit tricky with the platforming. And yeah. Now, I did say earlier that like 95% of the game is platform and not much combat, but I wouldn't really call this combat since we're mostly just dodging, uh, step dodging away and having Sign do the actual uh, <clears throat> combat. Again, if you could really call it full on combat. Ori 2 does introduce a lot. Of... <laughs> okay, I was wait, like I was trying to catch that stupid spike. Ori 2 introduce a, a lot of expansion on combat uh, which hmm, which uh, I'll say it makes sense as an evolution of the series uh, yeah we've seen this it's not a lot it's not that I dislike it or anything but it was certainly a surprise to <laughs> get a lot more focus on the combat. And yeah, we've seen this. Uh, let's see. Don't worry, I'm socially awkward and I want to start streaming or doing YouTube to help with that. Okay, we can give you tips. Oh yeah. I think we can give you some tips and, well, most of it will be be yourself and have fun. Yeah. Like there, if there is one thing that people just absolutely, this is it's actually a bit funny. If there is one thing on which the uh, the YouTube and Twitch community and the uh, rap community are actually fully online with, it's yeah, just being genuine. If if you are faking it, people will notice and people will remember it. Yeah, like. Uh, that moments where they can be fun when you know they, they are they just do actually have 40 comments for you. But there are also moments when it actually becomes yawing. Uh, you'd be free to join sometimes. Uh, we do have... We, hmm. we don't do multiplayer games too often, but if you'd be willing to join in on something like that at some point, you're definitely free to. Oh, yeah. And oh bloody heck! We really it makes me remember Valheim, and part of me start to wonder if it would not be easier to start Valheim when it's closer or when it's uh, fully released. Okay, this time there are spikes down there, so let's not go into those. Oh, hello. Ooh. Okay, some sort of spirit doors. I'm so well smart. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Wait, why did I go full Swedish there? <laughs> and from tr translation. Oh, little no. evening meal. Nom 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 nom. Okay, where did, where did you even end up there? Let's see, where. Okay, we need to head up. Or actually, we, we just need to head to the. <clears throat> to the right. Oh, no, uh, not that number! Oh yes, it changed. Good. It said the the number. It's it said for a moment the number you know I've been paranoid over the years. What, at ninety six. Uh, flip around. Flip the number around, Hillian. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I did that intentionally. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I, 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 I should probably go away. 
I heard way too many 69 yokes that I started to know, and I also, for some reason, started to appear more and more coincidentally, maybe, yeah, around <laughs> me. That's to the point I start to wonder, is this number cursed or something? Mm. Yeah, we, we've had it show up plenty of times, like, that we have, like, 69% completion of something. Yeah, or 69 okay. amount of something, or I have something in real life that says 69, I just go... I, I think this is the first time this year I go on a rant about it again. <laughs> but I did it several times last year. This light from the spirit tree. It was a gift from our kind. It was given to Naru, who stood by her sides. Yep. We can carry this around. And pass through the spirit walls with it. And reveal new platforms as well. And, yeah, we... Since Ori isn't actually fighting themselves... We can, well, still zap things as we go. Wait, 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 I got an idea. I got some salt here. <laughs> okay, what for? You, you uh, don't know what happens when you throw salt at slugs? At snails? Oh, that. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> there, you, you'd need some way to get it on the freaking ceiling with these things. <laughs> Yeah, a bloody heck. I, I remember we, at times we had some called murder snails. I don't know if that's the actual name, but uh, a species of snail known to just wreck people's yep. gardens. And someone I knew, Ow. for some reason, we decided to, and whenever those snails were infesting her garden, she went out with scissors to kill them. And it was a grown up person who did this. Okay. I just, even as a kid, I feel like that feels unnecessary. Yeah, then then again, uh, salt. I I don't know if you know, I don't know if slugs are developed enough to really count uh, as intelligent creatures. Uh, but from what I hear, the salt treatment isn't considered too kind either. Like. Keep using it as a way to keep them at bay, yes, but to sprinkle over them and just completely, basically evaporate them. Uh, I th I hear that some people consider that to be cruel. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I should probably put this with Marco. If you put salt on a snail or a slug, they will basically melt. Yeah. It'll disrupt the the cell structure of their skin. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, they start leaking out. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's not it's not only leaking, they, they may basically turn to almost ash or something. Yeah, I'll, yeah, just as I'm about to read that, give me a... <laughs> going to pause the game for a second here. Yeah, they, they, they wrote and, something more. <laughs> let's see. I mean, my Italian friend is streaming to try and get less socially awkward, and I am the first to support his hopes and dreams, so he is very thankful for that. And I started to cry when he said, uh, uh, when he said that I, since I was never enough for someone. Uh, yeah. And nice oh. to hear. If, if you want, you can put a link to them in the Discord. It, it, it's kind of how I, I, I started with Helium, too. Like, we started with roleplay and such. Then uh, he said he started to stream and feel like, all right, I, I, I can try to watch him. And I started to do that, and then, yeah. Then the, that faithful you came and I became his co-commentator. Uh, yeah, here's the spiders, though. I, I wouldn't really say that these would set off your typical arachnophobia, since they look a bit more cartoony. Possibly <laughs> intentionally. It looked like the other. And... I'm pretty sure that this entire area is exclusive to the Definitive Edition. Okay. Oh, I just remembered something, Helian. Oh? This, uh, I think we need to update our description. 
<laughs> Probably, yeah, she's still oh. has the old one. Yeah, but he says, a, 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 a Dutchman with a Swedish voice in his head. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not just a voice in your head anymore. Ow. Ow. I've taken a physical form. <laughs> and he gave me the wrong one. How did we dodge that one? Okay. Yeah, with this light we can... Oops. We can light these semi torches, organic torches. Yeah. Yep, yep. Ow. Good thing that I put up a safe. There. Yeah. Now we can skip the work on lighting this place up. And hopefully not get blasted, because that I'm pretty sure that killed us at full health. Oh dear. Oh, Rose, uh, I was Blitz play a little bit of uh, Dress today. Uh, who? Blitz. Blitz. Uh, not sure if I remember them or know them. So that is, is it another another streamer or YouTuber. 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 Okay. And um, he got a little of this more earlier than you. Probably due to he was a bit grindier, but he also was way more riskier than you and did get a lot of hull breaches and such. Yeah, that, uh, there's <clears throat> and there's that uh, other streamer Sloop Tube that we raided once, and yeah, they <laughs> they were pretty reckless. Uh, with how they were going as well. Yeah, so in a way, I, I did get to learn that the uh, did we, you, almost went through this there again. Uh, you, you remember big old one eye? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't insta kill you, luckily enough, apparently. Mm. When, when does, I actually he, go ahead. He does damage the boat though. Uh, the, the thing is, when I was watching Sloop Tube for the second time, uh, they they actually ran into it, and they got destroyed in one hit. So I don't know if their boat was damaged already or not, but it could have been. For yeah. Blitz took two hits, and he was yeah. almost dead. And I think you start off with two. Actually, hmm. Uh, you start off with three. Yeah. Hmm. They yeah. They must have really forgotten to repair then, uh, because if they if they survived two hits, then it definitely would say that it only does one hit of damage each. Yeah. However, here's the problem. If you're lucky, it, 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 it's not like it, it can become a, a double hit. Okay. So that, that's the problem. Like, it may give you a one hit, or in his case, it actually became dunk dunk. Yep. So it took two damage, and one of the early times he actually got attacked by it, the damn thing destroyed the, one of his uh, engines. So he was very slowed down. Yeah. That is uh, so... a thing which. Oh, yeah, that definitely instant kills in one hit. So that's getting stuck in a pit. <laughs> and yes, I should have put up another save. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, Random Marco. Well, he doesn't stream that often, so I don't think that the link will help very much. I mean, he made a TikTok and got uh, five followers, which is pretty good. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. But yeah. So the big fish is basically... Still avoid like you you did right to avoid the for uh, if it, it that damn thing broke the engine. It, yes, it, does it, it, the engine doesn't yeah. only get disabled, doesn't it get thrown out or broken, just disabled. That would put you into bigger danger for it. Yeah, then it, it could actively hunt us down then. Yeah, and apparently the damn thing almost hunted him down. 
to the other island. <laughs> okay. So you, you know the island keeps circling inside of? Yeah, the Gale Cliffs. It almost, it almost crosses over the water to the island where you delivered the old man to. <laughs> we actually had to circle around that island to another harbor. Just to get rid of it. Usually it lose interest when you get near the traveling merchant part, but this that but that one time it actually kept chasing him. Okay. Probably due to he was slow slightly slowed down. Yeah, oh. good chance of that. Uh, we're talking about Dredge, the other side stream game that we have. Yeah. Uh, that we would originally have been playing now if I <laughs> if I'd woken up in time. Uh, which is basically, uh, yeah, you play a fishing game, except uh, Cthulhu is in the area, and that is messing shit up. Yeah, uh, actually, that gave me an idea. Should we start with Dredge? One hour earlier to get a, a free hour dredge. Yeah, we could. Mm, we'll also be doing the showcase Sunday, so it, true. And five hours in one day is a bit much. Yeah, kinda is. So yeah, I think you're right there. But yeah, in in dredge. Uh, yeah, there are sea monsters, one of which is in an area that you need to explore, and, well... Uh, let's see. Imagine a very big, giant, eel-like yep. fish Bad. with one eye. And I missed the jump. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay, Maybe luckily enough this thing at you. No, it's just the, the light returning, which is a nice, oh. li a nice little feature since you can't actually lose it. Uh, but yeah, in the second area where you need to be, it's yeah, it's in a bunch of cliffs, uh, a cliff area, uh, with a lot of rather small passageways in between, and uh, yeah, there's a big fucking <laughs> fish stick flying around, uh, swimming around there. That uh, will, really, that will <laughs> try to ram and kill you. Yeah. Oh, let's see from Mark. Well, it's curfew for me, so have great uh, stream. Bye. Uh, thank you for you, Marco, and have a lovely evening. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good night, and until next time. Be safe. Why did I enter ending stream mode there? <laughs> okay, let's not mess this up a third freaking time. Let's put that down. Uh, well, I didn't mess it up on the same later. spot. <laughs> I didn't mess it up on the same exact spot. And what the heck is going on in that other channel? With wingers, dingers, and pingers. Those, th those are free cool, Mr. Free, uh, free people that you have actually met, pe uh, people. Killian. This is one of my people. <laughs> You're a person. Yeah, but not multiple. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, blood hate my brain. I, 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 I've been spending way too much in bed and watching YouTube uh, a few days now. Uh, I'm gonna check the uh, the fools over here. I know that the uh, yeah. glacier ball is unable to join due to probably due to zombie preventing him to, from watching, but he they can still chat. Okay. No. Come on. Yep. There we go. And that should be that. Okay, and I'm guessing we put the light in here. Yep. Uh, 
And now the place is lit up again. Ori, look. Even though our light has grown weak in this haze, it lifted the darkness that held claim of this place. Yep. And now we can actually move around safely and encounter another. Iki, uh, Iki was looking for Naru, but she was gone when he came. He was swift like the wind and sprinted with haste, but surrounded by darkness, he lost his way. And with that, we learn dash. To use it, press right uh, button, uh, shoulder button in order to dash in the direction you're facing. Yep. Uh, and Moku asked a question in the chat. Uh, you know what? Just tell me the schedule. Uh, the, the, the typical schedule that we do is on. It's also. Uh, it should be visible on the Discord, but I just in case it's not, because I might have missed up the his permissions. Uh, we try to stream on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday in the um, at 8 p.m. Uh, we have we have uh, we hold Sunday at 8 p.m. open as a free spot to either do an extra stream or to just rest up. Uh, but in the weekend, we'll also stream at 3 p.m. So yeah, the Tuesday and Thursday 8 p.m. Saturday, Sunday 3 and 8 p.m. Yeah. Also, you also clarify on weekend uh, on the week they maybe try to do between two three hour stream, but on weekend it's double stream. But then they will will move be between two hours each. I mean, try to do the ones on the week three hours uh, again. Try. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> completely missed this crushing stones up above there. Okay. One thing I also particularly love about this game is that a lot of stuff just wiggles and jiggles as you pass by it or stuff happens near it. It shows that it isn't just background decoration it's yeah actually there so to speak let's see uh, anyway i hope you have a great stream bye uh, see you next time randa uh, yeah, let see you next time marco i almost see you said next randa. time marco <laughs> what did i almost say rando randa thank you for making me imagine marco as rambo thank you Let's see. That's blocked. This is blocked. I don't know. I don't know why Rando made me go to Ramb. Wait. Ain't there a character called Rando in Star Wars? There's a character called Lando. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, Lando. It was. Lando. It was. In Lando Calrissian. Okay. Yeah. As a blood, even as a kid, I kid to get his name wrong to Rando for some reason. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm pretty sure those those slimes and spikes are angled just in a way that they will hit you if you try to run past them as well. <laughs> no, no more can no. I said Rambo, not Grandpa. Rambo, Rambo. And I keep mixing, mixing Lando up with Rando. At, at just too late there. I sort of wonder if I speak badly. Uh, very likely. Let's grab this again. Well, now, that makes we us the two then. Yeah, we both tend to be bad with. We, we both tend to get tongue-tied since English isn't our native language. Like, I, I've had my moments where I'm act almost accidentally going into Dutch for some reason or another. Yeah. 
And yeah. I feel like uh, like it's it's something that got them more and more common uh, for me. Let's see. Is this going to keep it open? No. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, sleep well, Marco. So yeah. Uh, watch out for uh, the bed monster. Uh, uh, I think we should keep putting <laughs> on the bloody ball though. And the ball return. It's for Indiana Jones to seek revenge. <laughs> at the very least, the game does allow you to get right back at it. <laughs> if you for if you remember to set up your save points. But if you forget, uh yep. Wait. Did Ori just get slapped into the spikes by the brain? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's debris hitting us there. Wait, maybe you don't need to... Yeah, we mm. could try to get over it, maybe? Yeah. Wait, I think you can hold on, actually, on the very top of that uh, thing, just... Nope. Never mind. Also, oh, and I... This goes to show that uh, a nice little thing with uh, the age rating is uh, since Ori is a light creature, they they don't actually have blood and gore and such for uh, the ratings and such. <laughs> they just poof and poof back. Damn. That was my own fault there. Oh dear god, Salian. Okay. Crush the alien, crush the alien, crush the alien. And I'm not gonna be able to make more parody of that damn old cartoon. Catch the pigeon, catch the pigeon. Yeah. There was many cartoons I did not like for some reason, but. That show I did like. Yeah, it's and because it's just stupid fun. Yeah. And there's a light thing in there that we can't access now. I, I think also I just in general just enjoy the crazy inventions they did on that show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it was literally just called Catch the Pigeon or something, or Catch That Pigeon. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to look it up. I, I, I remember... I only remember... Two of the characters. I don't remember what the, the other side characters' names are. Let's see. We should return here later. There's much left unknown. Down below, we might find the place they once called their home. But yeah, we we can't progress any further at the moment. Oh dear. <clears throat> and yeah, there was uh, Dick Dastardly, Mutley, and then they there were two others at least I think the smart yeah. one and the the coward. Yeah, in the inventor and coward. I don't know what the names were. Yeah. Okay. I even forgot the Swedish names. The, actually, I think they say I don't even know the English names to begin with. <laughs> now that has me curious. What is Dick Dastly called in Swedish? I'm unsure, actually. Okay, those hurt double. I may have to look that up. It, it, it might have been Dick Dastardly. Uh, it might have been easy. <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, go on. <laughs> it, it's, it's just funny that Dick Dastardly is one of the few characters you can just outright call a dick and you wouldn't be s cursing or anything because he is, well, dick. Yeah, I think mean, it was before it became a swear word, sort of. But yeah, I think, I think he actually was called Dick Dossetly, even in Swedish, due to its 
was an easy name for kids to say. Uh, in Motley I... was even called Motley. Okay. How do we actually get this open? Is it kind of rare for usually sometimes they they be say it in a Swedish way? So like Motley was Mutley or Motley. Oh yeah, I think it was just thinking called Motley. Hmm. But yeah, there, there's been many characters that had a complete renames here, like for some reason Scrooge McDuck became Joachim von Anka. Okay. Do you, do you want translation for that? Go ahead. Uh, Jochen von Duck. <laughs> and uh, wait, uh, was it the pilot's name uh, von Duck or something? Pirate? What? The pilot into uh, Duck Tales? No. Uh, launch pad mid crack. Oh, my quack. Yeah, I don't know. Whoever we called him in Swedish. This pool looks I mean, I mean, out I mean, of it, uh, I mean, it just McDuck. Still, then. But yeah, for some reason, they decided that the Scrooge should be Dutch. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of, in Dutch, he's actually called Dagobert. Dagobert. <laughs> and I have no idea what that would translate to. I miss that to Taco Bert. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's something to me, CRS. That's, I kind of like the name Taco Bert. That, that actually sounds like a nickname. Uh, let's see. Can we actually progress there further? It, there's some. There's a gate blocking the way. Let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure in the original version, we could have just gone right from the spirit tree and we would have gone there instead of going in here. That goes yeah. pretty deep. Let's see. Oh, I know, remember I know the DC character with that different name. I saw 69 again. <laughs> it's a sign. Right, anyway. Uh, do you remember Goofy? Yeah. Who the Swede is called Janne Longbeen. Okay, that part of that is going to translate to long. Long beard. Uh, you want clue? Uh, go ahead. You have two of them. <laughs> what cat? Uh, no, it, it, it's a body part. <laughs> long ears. No, lower. Long leg? Yes. <laughs> okay, so they call they named the lanky character Lanky, basically literally. Yeah yeah, Janne Long Bean. Janne Long Leg. <laughs> yeah, and Dutch he's he's named just Goofy as well. Yeah. Another character that has a different name is also Mickey Mouse is Pussy Pig. Here, pig means something different. Yeah, I presume so. Like, uh. What am I overlooking? We have a term pig or claw. A kind of. Is, is it this case another term of uh, awake and happy? Basically. Okay. More of a. I'm sure you would say a slang for happy, but just a different variation of word happy. Mm. Like a happy and alert in a way, which kind of fits Mickey Mouse. Okay, I'm pulling a and... blank as to where we actually have to go now, since we can't get over those, we can't get over those thorns. And if there is a mechanism to open this, I'm completely missing it. Same here. Let's see. Another character with different name is Swedish. Kalle Anka. Daisy? Uh, Clarabelle? 
You want the glue? Uh, okay. <laughs> Donald. Yes. Okay, what did they call him? <laughs> Just <laughs> raging featherball. Uh, Kali Anka. Basically, Kale is the name, and Anka, duck. Angry duck. No, no, no. You're basically just Kalle Anka, Kalle Duck. Okay. They just hmm. not doll, not just Kalle. Or Kaylee, some English people say for some reason. Okay. Uh, well, since I brought up Daisy, uh, in Dutch she's called uh, Katrin, which is basically a shorter version of Catherine. You said he. Uh, Catherine. Uh, you you call Daisy a he? Yep. <laughs> okay, that that's because I'm splitting my in attention. Like seriously, where is the mechanism for this thing? Yeah, like, I, I'm I don't guessing know it might what be we... this, but I'm not seeing anything to interact with. I don't know what we call Daisy in Swedish. Mm. I'm very unsure. And, oh bloody heck. But what's the Scrooge maid called again in English? Um, I'm actually completely blanking on her name in Dutch and English. Yeah, uh, for, uh, I think we in Sweden call her Matilda. Could be. There's also a phrase here, like, it is a sweet say, Milda Matilda. Is, is it, it's, it's basically equal to D. Mary. E, e, equal and to, not raw translation, just, it, it, it's used in the same manner. I think I'm just being stupid. It, during that cutscene, it showed the other area, and... Okay, here, here's my... When it showed that uh, the other area, I thought sign meant go there another time. Uh, no, we we can't destroy... It. Okay, we Ooh, have to so dash weird. now, but where can we actually go with this? Uh, yeah, there are so many swampar. Should I eat them? Okay. I love them all, I went Swedish. <laughs> Reset. Uh, was that understandable for you? Uh, no. <laughs> I asked, I said, so many mushrooms, are you gonna eat them? Uh, I, I was to say, <laughs> are you gonna eat them? Then I stopped myself to realize I spoke in Swedish. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, yes. I'm, I'm just going to look up quickly because I'm getting the feeling that I'm just being an idiot here. Uh, yeah, it could be. Uh, it says it's a new version. Uh, uh, when you do that, I gotta refill my drinking glass and adjust my fan. There, there's two. There's two paths that lead from here, but they're both blocked. Like we can't destroy this lower one, and there's a mechanism blocking the other. And yeah, I just. Which way to go, game? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Seems it's a common thing. Uh, let's see. From the starting area at east, just past the sign, there's a breakable rock. Uh, yeah, that's not what I mean. But how do we get there after that? Uh, Oh, come on, it opens up on the Steam app. Which is, okay, not messing things up. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> okay, apparently this is all optional here. Let's see. Uh, Blackwood Burrows, which is an optional area. Okay. Uh, 
that's it. Stone needle spinning spike. What? Um, hmm. And we're. I'm definitely completely overlooking something. But I guess we'll have to get over there, or maybe something there. Like I don't, we, maybe I don't see how we can climb past that. Maybe you're missing some power. Right into the spikes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, basically. Shadow the hmm? I went mean, sweet as a girl. Yep. Uh, I would blow the hang. It, yeah, it, 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 but basically, pun. Is it. it I would say the. the slang. Oh, no, not slang, but uh, the equivalent of. Uh, feeling hyped. Our taggad could also mean just uh, spiky. I, I think it's uh, yeah. It, it's one of those things that has been made a joke of many times with a hedgehog. Uh, oh, oh! We lowered this thing like ten minutes ago. This is how we're supposed to get up further. Yeah, that uh, that uh, entire uh, area was completely optional. Uh, careful now. Igor is there. Watch out for Igor. There. And you killed Igor. <laughs> and his sons. The... Holy crap! The... Yeah, these split. Yep. <laughs> I didn't realize that thing was alive. Well, you know now. And knowing is half the battle and <laughs> double the fear. Oh, bloody heck. That, 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 that thing has become a meme, hasn't it? Uh, not sure, actually. Oh, it has, Helian. Oh, it has. So many YouTubers say that. Knowing is half the battle. Oh, that. I thought you meant this thing. No, no. Okay, we're going to need to upgrade our attack a bit. Because at the moment we only have it one, two punch. Okay, now we're... Yeah, now we're getting into real spider territory. Anyone hungry for omelettes? Any diggers? No, I should have put on a save point. Hill? Did you just... Did you just swan dive into the phones like Scrooge my dog into gold coins? Maybe. Oh good god, that sounds horrifying. Swan dive into phones. <laughs> Just blow this up and get away from whatever the hell that stuff is. Those are yeah. eggs, Helian. No, I meant the uh, the spiky mold stuff. It... Let's see, we don't have enough energy for that. So we'll just have to never speak of that again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, you know what? I know exactly what will help you to look at that easier. Hmm. You, you, you just think of that as uh, cotton uh, candy. <laughs> Does it help? Nope. Oh, well, was a, was yeah. a shot. That, oh, bloody heck, that, that, that looks like a skull almost. Life cell, we could definitely use that. But actually, I was saying, does that full bush that you're walking past look like a, a, a skull? 
Yeah, with the web ending, it looks a bit like a skull. Yeah, like a dragon or dinosaur skull. Oh, I see now. Bye bye. Not that he actually got rid of them. Oh well. Oh, the. Uh, that was me not random fact. Oh? Oh. What would you t uh, say, tell me if I told you there are actually found no. dinosaur skulls made of gold? Well, that would definitely be... Uh, like, I'm guessing, uh, like, ancient tribes found dinosaur skulls and basically played at them or replicated them? Uh, it's more of a... It's a... It's not a... It's more of a... It's found... That the gold started to uh, form on the bones. Okay. And then it, it's it's rare, but it has happened. And only one time, it's usually like a one bone or something, but there has been at least one entire skull. Of a, ter of a predator. It, that would definitely make for quite a decoration. And it's not only that, the gold. There's, there's also been of quartz. Is this where the crystal skulls <laughs> ideas came from? Uh, it, it, not like that. But I don't forget. Maybe not quartz, but some kind of crystal, crystal started to foam on the bone. And some of them, they accidentally blew up. For some of them, were, if it discovered in Italy, and I thought, oh, we found this. Maybe there's more. And they go to the to try to free up more bones with dynamite. Yeah, of course. Like, yes, sure, they free a lot of them, but not in the way they had to go. But they did at least find, the, at least the, the one thing got unscathed and what was an entire crystallized skull. Uh like, we've talked about this sort of uh, quote-unquote archaeology before with, like, that they blew their way through, like, five layers of Sroy trying to get to the freaking bottom. Yeah, and then there was also the, another one I, I think I told long ago about, the Bone Wars! I think you have spoken of that before, but <laughs> for everyone's sake, <laughs> uh, can you repeat that one? Because it sounds like a hilarious story. It's not a movie, as many people would think that they thought. It's actually a bloody, stupid rivalry between two archaeologists that started to sabotage each other by hiring bandits and blowing each other's fossils up during transports. Yeah. And it was before they added the plaster around the bones and all. And, and uh, people died actually with... over this. Now we're dealing with magma slimes. Oh dear. But yeah, I think Bone was one of the cases where a very dark history in uh, science that it actually be became a problem. This probably was one of the many incidents that probably ended up with making sure people don't do that. Yeah. Okay, now our attacks have a bit more strength to them. And for people wondering why it is, the two archaeologists had a very a rivalry. People didn't bother with if what was for that start until Yeah. Very obviously for a few years it went overboard with the hiring fogs and dynamite. Yeah, so the and only one who got really boned was the scientific community. Yeah, which, uh, I don't know how or when it ended. I probably look it up. But it must have ended somehow for... A lot of fossils were lost due to it. Hmm. And, but even as a kid, I remember almost wanting to scream over to stu stupidity. Okay, there's something big and angry up there. Hmm. Yeah, 
We need this thing that keeps spawning here to break open that rock there, but how is the question? So I'll just grab those. Hmm. Oh, I I remember now. Yep. Okay. This <laughs> turns real quick. Hey. Okay. Also, is it just is is it just me? But with uh, some games where enemies have slower projectiles, am I the only one who? Sob constantly tries to catch some of them because of, yeah, typically when you have stuff like that in a game, uh, you're meant to catch them or something. So, like, <laughs> I, I at times have to fight against the instinct to try and catch the things. I'm sure I think I had... Have that happen once or twice, but not in GTS games. I really want in older games where I suddenly do the thought I can hit it with my weapon. And I was, wait, wrong game. I'm dead. Only yeah. death. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be dead if that thing hits us. So. What is that? Just crystallized anger or something? Okay, these things don't give many experience points, so people can't just uh... so people can't just farm them. Are we even going in the right direction? Let's see, there is another passageway that way. There's a little area down there, but we need to be able to break stones beneath us to open that. Okay, let, let's just head the other way. I think we're not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Give me that. Okay. Yes, Swornfeld Swamp. It... Okay, we've seen you a few times before. Okay, these spiked slime things are more a nuisance than anything else. Yep, yep, I did not notice the, the thorns there. Uh, let's see. There they go. So I got a bit distracted on another chat. Okay. Someone needed a hug. Yeah. Hug strike on Gade? Uh, no, not on Gade. Okay. No, at least we have a safe and warp point here. So we can bring this rock the other way. And the ow. Okay, and then we can get up here. Who made this? There. And up we go. It, it's kind of fun. We, we, we have seen them build. Or they could spin all that, but... Some of these structures sometimes makes you wonder who made them. We'll get an answer to that. A Gumon from the uh, Forlorn Ruins. We must follow his steps. We must get what he stole. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, okay, Lord of Force alone. The heck? 
Okay, for a moment I thought you were going like, what the hell was that? But no, you were, tr you were almost sneezing. Yeah. For first time this year that I had false sneeze alarm on stream. <laughs> Isn't this like yeah. almost the third one within two weeks? I think so. Or, or is it more like three weeks? Like it has been once every week in a row now. Not sure on that. And yeah, another slug like enemy. Only these, ba these bastards pop up and spit. Uh, you again. Ugh. Just make like, make like an, an atom and split. <laughs> Just they split up in parts. Make a, a atom and... Oh. <laughs> atom, Helian, not Adam. Close enough. <laughs> okay, we can't break that. Yep. Did, These again. Did you seriously ruin your own joke? Yeah. <laughs> not the first time, not the last time. Yeah. And watch out for the fawns. Oh, actually, watch out for them. Yep. Uh, let's see. Can't get to that without a stomping power. And yeah, as is probably very obvious, uh, the water is not nice around here. Yeah. And also, I, I think I can fix that. I, you, you, just feed me enough burgers and I can body slam it through that uh, floor. Shouldn't we be able to destroy these things? Or, oh no, it's the blue cracked stuff that we can destroy. So, we are missing an ability. There's a gap in there. Have your back. Fawny wine gum. Fawny wine gum, really? Oh, right. <laughs> okay, luckily That's the game like a... are the safe rest there. That's not a horrible nickname for those things. Yeah. Without a water vein, the Ginzer tree is closed shut. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely going to need to upgrade our attack a bit just to be able to get rid of these nuisances quickly enough. Or just jump over them. Okay. They do give a lot of experience. Where the heck are they? It's some form of slime and not slugs, at least when they multiply. Yeah, probably just corruption uh, concentrated. Yep. Oh, that that also works. Thank you. Oh wait, now <laughs> now I see. We need to use them to spit and break those objects. Okay. So oh, first... I just had another memory. Oh? Uh... I... <clears throat> uh... It's Fro... This game is Frogger again? Yeah, the one with the frogs crossing the streets. Trying not to get run oh, over. Right. Okay. Uh, there's another frog I, re I remember that was like a superhero and used to turn into a ball and such. I don't remember his original name, but I think it was at least on Amiga. We had one. Do Us kids just called them yep. Grodon Ball. Uh, oh, come on. You didn't autosave their game? Oh, crew. Uh. Get out of the cutscene immediately gets annihilated by a beam. Oh dear. Yeah, for, for people wonder what Grudan Ball means, it means, well. The Frog Ball. Ooh. 
Okay, so dumb. Get back here, you. Nice little separate area to introduce the, the beasts. And the chance to, to find out... Oh, they break this stuff. Yeah, but they, they look like they're from... Uh, actually, both of these look like they were, would be in for oh, the deep on. sea. Hmm. Uh, don't you have any energy thing to put down this uh, save stair? Yeah, but I, I kind of want to rush past the bastards, but that is what's getting me killed. <laughs> trying to rush. Yeah, uh, notice. Okay. I I do like how that is animated. Like it. Okay, here we go again. We can't put one down when there's enemies nearby, though. So we will have to blast this one. Okay. Or just. Let them all jump it to their death. And... Okay. Better catch that monkey ball. One, two. Yeah, the the color of their attack is a bit similar to the cracks and stuff. Hmm. Right, come on. There we go. Thank you. Now, let's not get bug zapped out of existence this time. Moon Grotto. We're going to need to find a lot more energy cells. Okay. So we can put down saves more often. Since we also need energy for, well, blowing certain stuff up. Just in time. We have plenty of health for the moment. I say that as we keep dying every time still. Uh, those are sp very spiky, so let's not go that way. Not that way either. You should call this place the spike trap instead of the moon grotto. <laughs> anyway, safe. Where are you going with the thing? Hmm. Let's see, anything this way? Yeah, this is where we need to go. Okay, we're one short on that. Bastard! It, then he just jumps after the taunt. Okay. We actually do have one of these, so there we go. Oh. Okay, this is quite the hideout. And it almost connects to the other area down there. Just barely doesn't. Uh, we can't get that. And of course, it wouldn't be a platformer without uh, crushing things. <laughs> okay. Uh, Welp. <laughs> That fucking smile. And sound. Did, did you hear him? Yeah, practically laughing at our faces. Let's see. 
Do we go up and follow? Or we don't even know which bloody way he went. There. It, it could have been worse. Yeah. It could have been worse. At least it's not dire penguins. Uh, have, have you seen that uh, video of Remy recently on Age of Wonders 4? Not about him, but I saw some of you to show me the dire penguins are back. Like, they, they've been using dire penguins since the first game. Uh, I, yeah, I what? What? <laughs> what? Uh, for context, to pe for people watching, we're talking about the dire penguins of Age of Empires 4. Uh, well, it just wonders it, it wonders, for... wonders, bleh. It, it's a game made by a Dutch company, Triumph, who also made Overlord. Yep. Yeah. And another game... Damn it. Dungeons? I think both games you would love. And I, I've been playing Ancient Wonders since I played the, the, with first the second game, then the third game. The, I played the first, first, second game without its expansions. For I bought it on a, a uh, pre-owned shop. But it was, when it's free, I got all expansions for I played. I loved it. But this new one, it has everything I feel like they should have done with Age of Wonders three. After a while, uh, after playing Age of Wonders three, meant as I feel like they should have done this and. Lo and behold, they basically done a lot of those things I've been thinking about in this new game. Yeah, we had uh, Age of Wonders on our, one of our showcase Sundays. Oh yeah, and we said we might actually do that into a YouTube series, maybe. Maybe. We sh Here's the thing, we might do a YouTube series now that, yep. now that he does no longer have his... Uh, Former job. Yeah, so now I can actually do keep a schedule. Yeah, so if we want, if we want, we could do so used to TC series whenever we want, really. Yeah, we could put that on the the uneven days of the main week. Yeah, probably even easier now since uh, you don't have a job currently. Yeah. And Hmm. I do have some income so from social, yeah, social security, uh, so I won't have to you know, worry too much for a bit. Yeah. Hmm. I, I wonder if it, it, Hmm. I feel like Age of Wonders 4 will be easier for that kind of series. Probably, for, if it has a campaign, of course. It has, and it even has short campaigns. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, we could probably do Persona as a YouTube series as well. Bas basically, cut out uh, extra fluff like grinding and such. That we oh, could also yeah. do that off stream. That I can definitely agree with. Uh, Persona would probably work easier on YouTube to, that we can remove the damn grind. Yeah. Hmm. As you wonder, will it probably be less grindy? However, due to they don't, if you watch the previews and all that, you probably and all the people play, you probably see. If if you recruit a hero now, we can rename them and respect them however we want, as long as they are at the same race as they were recruited as. Okay. This means. Yeah, we can do a campaign very fully personalized. Basically, make our own story. <laughs> we'll basically make a more combat-heavy version of Ori and the Blind Forest here. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, uh, we have a point. In a way, we could basically do us in Age of Wonders. Uh, let's see. Make most pickups here on the map. Not really too useful. Life pickups will restore twice as much life. 
Ooh. And then we have flame, uh, Charge Flame Burn. Improves the radius and damage of the Charge Flame. We haven't really used that much in combat. Uh, but I do want this. This is going to make... That is going to help deal with the little shits a lot easier. Of course. <laughs> We've probably missed a bunch of energy cells along the way since we've already found two uh, oh, life cells. Uh, Gumo's hideout is real, goes real deep here. Oh, this is another monkey lizard thing. Uh, not yeah, lizard. Yeah, that was definitely a frog sound. <laughs> yeah, uh, monkey frog? Ancestral tree. Leiru lay here. She was swift, agile, used to cut through the air. I so want a screenshot from one of this with put on a shirt. So. Yeah, the question is going to be which frame to use as part what? of which part of the what? dance. Wait, 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 wait! Look at Uri. Yeah. It was kung fu fighting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the song that came to my head when I see him do that pose. You've learned double jump. I don't think that needs much more explanation than that. Yeah, th this is going to help. With our, uh, this is going to help with our maneuverability a lot. Uh, is he shooting something? Yeah, uh, I think it's supposed to be like air being pushed away or something. Uh, oh, hello, oh. Gumo. Uh, Gomu. Gumo. With... Oh, Gumo. Uh, Not Gumo. Let's see. What was it? Okay, it's not showing the... Oh, no. Show it. No, not there. Why is it... Okay, it said... Uh, Gomu or Gumo's hideout earlier. Save again. Uh, yeah, we've got a double jump now. Is going to make getting around a lot easier. Uh, double jump is typically something you get later in platformers, I believe. And we get it uh, reasonably early here. What the heck are you on about? Double like, jump usually, in most cases, I played acquired very early. Hmm. Uh, in my experience, they're more of a mid game thing or something. Maybe Metrovanias, perhaps? But yeah, in, in other in games that I play, they are usually found a little bit earlier. Yeah, in, in Not more... at the very start, but almost yeah. uh, shortly after. Yeah, a, a lot of platformers have them. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of platformers have double jump as almost a basic feature to start with. Yeah. With uh, some people... Oh, definitely need that. Uh, some people uh, I've heard complain about that it do it takes away from uh, it takes away somewhat from the challenge since if you miss if you miss angle a jump you can just use a double jump to correct yourself. I think that's kind of the point. Yeah, but it it's uh, hmm. I forget the specifics of the argument it was yeah it could just also be just a uh, old man platformer complaints about new game uh, stuff also possible okay uh that loops back around again oh that's cl that's closed <laughs> so that quickly determines which way we need to go there we go uh, by the way, Hillian, are you feeling hungry? Uh, I've had dinner already. 
You sure? There's a lot of mushrooms around here. Oh, oh, there's bats in the ceiling. I don't think I've ever noticed that. If they even are bats. Actually, uh, now I question. If you were to live in the woods, would, would you actually be able to live in a mushroom house? Uh, not without eating it. So basically, uh, you, you, uh, okay, I just realized you're not that smart to live in a Smurf house. No. But if you were it, that, uh, that would that mean you basically would eat your own house? Probably. Okay. Oh, now, now we got curious. What kind of Smurf would you be? <laughs> The homeless smurf, because they keep eating their home. <laughs> Would it be more like the, uh, the hungry smurf? No, I think there's already one of those. Uh... Oh, true. But they, 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 they have so many. Yeah. But they even added a new one with the movies, like... I kind of like Scott... Uh, 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 was it called Scottish Smurf? Not sure, but I'm pretty... I think they already had a Scottish Smurf before the movies. Might be wrong with that. Can I unsure? I, I, I just hope he is not called Scottish Smurf or... That, that would be just... A bit way on the nose. Then again, the brainy one is called Brainy. Yeah, but and... still, Scottish Smurf will almost give the whole uh, stereotype flag over. Yeah, I, I, my guess would be like they, maybe they call them mech smurf or something. Uh, I Actually, I think I might be confusing... Uh, I think I'm confusing the farmer smurf with the Scottish smurf. So, could be that they added them for the movie. Or movies. Yeah, I think, I think they added them for movie and... I think people have a mixed reaction yeah, to him, but like they find him funny, but uh... yeah, I think people, some people feel like they play that be a little bit too much into the stereotype with him. Yeah. Even though he, they did everything, he had some golden moments. Yeah, I, I've, I... I've... Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, I, I've not bothered with any of the Smurf movies because yeah, I've just heard plenty about them to just play in a void. <laughs> I've seen some and yeah, I just feel like, what is this? This feels a bit annoying. Okay, that was a bit funny. But, like, it was somewhat watchable, but in a way that, like, yeah, I've seen it. I'm not gonna recommend it. Yeah, like, it, it is supposed to be for kids and such, but that doesn't have to mean that you have to make it just plain ass stupid the whole way through. Yeah. Good God, I, I was actually just actually did like Smurf a lot as a kid. I think my family owns a, or owned a few comics of them. Same. Uh, also, the uh, yeah. Also, I know one in particular that I think we had was uh, a reprint of the con. Ah, oh, damn it. Of the controversial uh, uh, Smurf zombie virus one or so, which in yeah in, in the original version of that uh, the Smurfs turned black when they got uh, yeah sick or infected, however you'd call it that there, uh, which they later on they they t changed into them turning purple instead, because uh, apparently the uh, yeah the. Uh, apparently, or from I don't have anything specific about this, but it, with something like that, uh, makes you think, uh, feel that the original author might have been a bit of a fuckhead. Yeah, or they didn't think freeze through. Yeah. The, from what I knew, apparently in the smooth lore from I from what was it as cartoon. There were two species known as Smurfs. 
Okay. The, the one we know, and the one that apparently were known to be very hairy and aggressive with tusks. Okay, where Smurfs? <laughs> yeah, I, th I don't know if there was supposed to be another species of Smurf or some people had a misconception of them to be that and then mixed them names up or something. But uh, they were apparently so aggressive that uh, in some areas when you said Smurf, people would panic, apparently. <laughs> okay. So much of the, the Smurfs actually to avoid a situation or something, they actually dressed up as one of those other smurfs and actually got away from some dangerous people who they just freaked out to seeing them. Hmm. And uh, the, the reason the, the get up made them look like a demonic version of Captain K Man. Okay, uh, the car. The Smurf show that you're thinking of, is that the one where the intro starts with a Zeppelin? There no you way it did. I don't remember a Zeppelin. Bloody, they did do, make... Do, do, do. I just remember they made several se series of it, like uh, Smurfs in time and all. Okay. So I think this one okay. I think of uh, in an old, one of the older ones. I, I don't remember one with Zeppelin. Yeah, it could be that the the local intro you know, was different. I'll I'll try to remember and send you what at, at least the Dutch version. See what you think of that <laughs> team tune or intro song they have with that. Uh, uh, it, you're welcome. It it might actually wake up a memory. Bloody! I just realized something. I uh, almost missed. Uh, are we having a... We are old moment? I think so. <laughs> oh, and there you are. Fucker's Agile. But then again, he has to be to get around this place. Catch up to him and kick him in the ball. Um, um... That would basically be his entire body, wouldn't it? Yeah. And caught by your own machinations. Yep. And now the place is collapsing. Yep. Now we're basically playing Fantasy Donkey Kong on the arcade. Replace the barrels with... Stones. No, no. They are exploding, Helian. Yep. The ore is certainly exploding. Yep. Too early. No. If they are supposed to be bombs, they have a very weak boom for that size. Yeah, they're supposed to be rocks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but when yeah, they but... land on the ground, they further down. Yeah, they, do, they, they just shatter. Like... So they just shatter it... so the game doesn't have to stack up uh, like a ton of rock uh big uh models and such yeah that i would get just the shoes had the shower in a explosive manner with a yellow fiery light a weak one at that yeah, uh, oh come on i was pressing the jump button there okay we're putting down another at the other side, completely well, blanking have... on the but name at the moment. Why does that make me think of a, some pirate weapons I learned about? Uh, do you tell? Uh, pirates were very known of having a lot of improvised weapons, like the stink bomb or stink grenade. Which was basically, you take a yar and put everything stinky into it. Mm -hmm. Feces of rotten fish, rotten what? fruit and all, into the yar, cork it, and it's ready to be thrown. So that's where the shoestriming went. 
<laughs> I would not be surprised if Why someone did pirate decided that the side of foot is so strumming into a grenade. <laughs> The uh, sweetest pirates, surrender all your gold or we're going to feed you the fucking fish. <laughs> the fucking fermented fish. Yeah, but bloody heck, I, I do recall here in the video that they were apparently very thick. They said you just threw them and when they just broke up. It, yeah. People, the stench were enough for, to make people gag. And when someone is gagging, they can't fight, or they can't fight yeah. properly. And not only gagging, I think it must have been reported that some people just outright puked over the stench. Okay, let's see. Uh, we need two points to get the air dash. Uh, so let's, let's get the split flame so we can just deal with enemies a little bit better. Yeah. Uh there's a lot of grenade action made. This one actually is a bit more dangerous, but I cannot blame them for the effectiveness. They're like, again, same trick, except not with stink stuff, just gunpowder and all that, and also fill it with nails. Uh, yeah, it's a I... basic fragmentation grenade. Yeah. Uh, with not, not, I don't mean fingernails, I mean. Metal nails and other sharp fragments that I found from broken blades or something. Glass. Uh, actually, yeah, they did load them with glass as well. Anything sharp, they just put them into. So if, uh, if one of those grenades will not just me, could have been just nails, but some of them were just glass, nails, and anything else sharp. It's Doesn't seem to be, be a skip button. Yeah, it's kind of terrifying how invented some people can be at times. Yeah, you see that with uh, ninjas as well. Like some of the ideas they came up with. Like uh, immediate ninjas are often shown with katanas and such. But yeah, back in the you know, those days, uh, it was it was basically illegal for anyone who, other than samurai to own swords like that. So, yeah, they had to improvise a lot of their weaponry. Uh, yeah, like, they, they did have one sword, I forgot its name, but it's one of those, a sword that was something between a Wakisachi E and a Katana. And they screwed off, coward. Maybe not so cowardly, Aww. huh? You have recovered the water vein. This ancient gemstone will grant you entrance to the Ginsu tree. <laughs> what? It looked like Wood was going Kamehameha. <laughs> that would have ended this game a lot sooner. <laughs> Just bust open the fucking door with a healing turtle wave, and that's the timer going off. Okay. Oh. Uh, remember, the element of waters rests high atop the Ginzo tree. We shall bring back the waters. Let us return immediately. And yeah, since we can save anywhere we want, we don't need to go look for checkpoints. But first, let's refill on our energy so we can actually put down a save. Our overwhelming. Oh, wait, wrong game. And yeah, I, I think it is beyond easy to see why this is an this is just an amazing game. Yeah, it is. But then again, I am a fan of uh, things like dwarves and elves. I, I'm pretty sure there are smaller uh, museums of gaming and such. But if there is going to be ever one museum of gaming history and such, uh. Museum of Gaming Art or something, this game should be playable somewhere in there. Just yeah. have a just have a screen in a wall and a controller uh, with a, a wired controller nearby. 
<laughs> okay, uh, imitating the frog lizards. <laughs> so that, 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 that just came out from the depths. <laughs> that kind of even surprised me. I just went, oh, oh something's got. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sorry, people, for that one. Sorry. Uh, yeah. It. it... <clears throat> Not the one. Uh, just playing a game like this just shakes things loose again a bit, so that. It it doesn't just make you feel sad, but it also make it also brings up uh, other emotions more freely than before, might have been before. That's uh, yeah, I, I personally like, don't like like uh, drama uh, shows or such, but I can see the appeal in the the ebb and flow of emotions that would yeah, that would be but, alluring to people. Yeah, I I can't understand some drama, but I. I kind of lose interest uh, quickly, but a drama feels like you're pulling out a rabbit from a hat. Yeah, like those show, those some of those shows go on for so long it it starts to become more like a fantasy show or something with all the siblings and twins and all the bullshit that shows up. Yeah, or uh, they just pull out a random drama just to keep the show, try to keep the show interesting. Probably is. They're adding us up so much drama in, out of nowhere in a bad way, it just becomes yawing. So I agree okay. with Helion fully. Okay. Now, before we end the stream, we're going to look for someone to raid. Uh, not too many people on it. Oh, hello. I think I know who I'd want to raid. But the choice will be yours, as always. Is it uh, me? No, it's not leave this time. Let me just Ooh. full screen this. Actually, that's a bad idea because now the name, the list was hidden behind the camera for me. So let's yeah. just do this instead. Uh, hmm. uh, who who want to stream? Uh, let, let's first go down the list and then I'll say who I think the ra we should raid. Okay, first off, we have Reef the Leaf, who is streaming Breath of Fire 2 again. Then we have I'm Nice, who is streaming Stardew Valley. I should try and I should give that game another try sometime with mods installed. But the previous two times that I've tried that, I've probably taken too big of a a mod collection because it would completely break the game. Not even let it start up uh, the game. You know, not even get you past the main menu anymore. But yeah, I'll just have to look at it myself. It, it's, uh, they might actually add it to Steam Workshop soon. Okay. Maybe, but they said they are adding more supports for modders, I think, there. Because mm -hmm. I felt like, wait, why are you adding more support for modders when it's on Steam? Unless... Maybe? Hmm. Okay, next up we have Niku Silverado, who isn't doing art uh, this time. They are playing Beat Saber. But, oh, Beat... I was thinking of a different beat. <laughs> okay, you, then, you, then it beamed closer to Fruit Ninja. I should try that in VR sometime. I should uh, actually no. just do try VR again sometime for any reason. But you, I just you don't will have not room do in. Fruit Ninja. You will not do Fruit Ninja. Your room or any room will not survive it. <laughs> yeah, there's. I could clear out a bit of space in the living room, but yeah. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Derpy Doo is playing Terraria. And then we have Touch Daily Tale. Uh, Okay, the place was... I forgot to double-check if the place was muted, but it is. Uh, they're playing Minecraft, and let's see... They're playing Vault Hunters, okay. I, I, I should try and find some people to play that, that mod pack with, or just any mod, uh, Minecraft mod pack, uh, since the thing with Tatum and such has kind of collapsed. Due to apparently the mod pack just... or the mod server refusing to start up anymore. Oh... Um, but yeah, it, it could, it would definitely be fun to try and have some folks to play that, you know, Minecraft with regularly. And, uh, anyways, moving on. Last but not least, then we have Halloween 4545, who is streaming Sherlock Holmes The Awakened again. Been a bit since they've done that, I think. All right. Like, so, one of them, or so we, I just say who I want to raid, or look, so we look at recommended. Say who you wanted to raise. I'm curious. Uh, Nico Silverado. 
Because I really, I quite like Beat Saber. It, it is really good for working out. I, I agree with you. It, it's not every day we read someone doing VR. Yep. Okay, it looks like they're having a break. Or are they ending the stream? Uh, either way, we can go raids. If they are raiding, we can raid along with their raids. So, slash okay. raids, paste. And uh, yeah, uh, before we go, uh, before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, thank you, Marco, for chatting along. I uh, hope you'll be feeling better soon. And uh, yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow in the afternoon, if I manage not to pass out with a nap uh, for two hours, <clears throat> uh, we'll have Showcase Sunday again, number 65, I believe. Or, no, 65, 85. But how, how did I subtract 20? Yeah, I, <laughs> uh, I was going to the, uh, the playlist a few days ago to put up the names of the games that are actually shown in the titles and such. And in some cases, I had to put the last one in the description because there was just too many and too long names. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's start up that raid. And yeah, oh, <laughs> perfect timing for Tatum to start up with Assassin's Creed. Uh, well, we've already started. Uh, I'll go poke them later. But for now, uh, yeah, showcase Sunday and then dredge in the evening. But for now, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for weird forest monsters. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> the stream deck. What the heck is going on with my belly? I'm so very gassy.